Hey there, this is Heather with twoblooms.com here to show you how to use the quick develop menu in your Lightroom Classic CC and Lightroom CC quick develop module in your library. Okay, that was a mouthful, but I wanted to show you the quick develop module or the quick develop settings, you know, in case you're wanting to work on a couple sneak peeks for a client or if you just needed to edit something really quick and you didn't want to go between the develop and the library. Okay, I generally don't touch this, but it's an important tool to use in Lightroom if you're just wanting to get some proofs out really quick. So if this isn't, um, if this is minimized, you can just go ahead and click on this little triangle and it will expand the menu. And you have all of these different options. Now you're going to have more options in the develop module, but these will really help your photo get started or if you just need a simple quick proof. Okay, so you can actually start um, by using a preset if you would like. You can choose any of the presets that you already have um, inside your Lightroom. So I only have a few over here. I'm just going to pick one and I don't know if it's going to look good. That one's kind of crazy. So I can go control Z to undo that or command Z if you're on a Mac. Um, I generally don't do this. I'll just add maybe a little bit of define and I'm not going to touch on the crop ratio, but you can crop the image in here if you would like. You can also change it to black and white, white if you'd like as well. And change your white balance. Um, you can do this. These are the different presets. Now you can use the presets if you shot this in RAW. If you shot it in JPEG, you won't have as many options, okay? Because when you shoot in JPEG, um, you should be setting that already in your camera okay and then with temperature you can play with the temperature I can add a little bit of warmth actually like that how that looks you can play with the tint um, it's too green that looks just right and you can also change the exposure this is, looks a little bit brightly exposed in some areas and that looks pretty good. You can add clarity if you'd like, also some vibrance. Um, and if you just don't like the way that it looks, you can reset it all, okay? So if I wanted to get that back, just control Z. So this is a good starting point if you just need a quick proof and you wanted to export really quick and then come back later and use your develop module for all of your um, standard edits. So this is a quick rundown for the quick develop <laughs> and hopefully you found that useful and it's going to be useful in your photography editing. Um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new and uh, subscribe to our channel to get updated Lightroom tips and photography tri tricks. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.